Alright guys, I had a request here on some uh, the steps to do the washer bottle conversion ZJ to a WJ. So here's your stock washer fluid bottle. Uh, you see there's a bolt hole right there for the neck. That, kind of hard to see, but right here on the pinch well it's a 10 millimeter bolt. So you gotta remove that. And then there's two more. I got a bolt here right now, but it's usually just a panel clip and There's two bolts behind this trim piece after you fold it back 10 millimeters as well And then you'll see right here This little cutout right here This flap folds into it. So after you get everything on all unbolted you just kind of slide it out You might have to remove your uh, fluid level sensor and the pumps first because you might have some clearance issues trying to finagle it out of there. But so that's how to get the old one out and just make sure you unhook all your uh, plugs and hoses and all that. Now down in the air box, you can see this harness here. It's zip tied in a couple spots down to the unibody. <clears throat> um, I just cut those zip ties in order to stretch the harness far enough back to the washer fluid bottle. Um, the bottle I got Get some info off it right here. Kind of see it. I got it off JC Whitney for 23 bucks. It's a 96 to 98 ZJ1. So there's a part number. I'm not sure if that's the JC Whitney part number. But uh, so I already had the grommets in it. So you just put the pumps in. Make sure you got um, you know put put the pumps in and hook the hoses and plugs up and then test your switch. Make sure you got the hoses hooked up to the right pumps. Um, <clears throat> I I did not bolt use a bolt in the back because I had to cram my Viper alarm back in there still somehow so I didn't have time to cram or I didn't have space to cram that down I just ran a quarter inch bolt through uh, this pre-existing hole here on the pinch weld so I mean it's still pretty solid and uh, that's it for the washer bottle. So I mean, it's in there. It's in there good. Filled it up with fluid. I checked it, make sure it all worked. Um, it just barely clears the hood shock up here. And then um, I don't know exactly what you call this, but it's for your vacuum, I believe. Yeah, right here on this port, it says vacuum. So you want to hook the hose up. That comes off your throttle body to that one. And what I did is I was gonna mount it here on the firewall, but this is all soft, so it wouldn't have really stayed and the stock hoses here were too stiff and didn't want to bend. So I, uh, <clears throat> I snipped this hard hose and I just took this rubber section off the factory piping, hose clamped it on, and it's actually only held on, you see right here, by this little 90 degree factory boot for the other um, vacuum line. So I mean, it's, it's not super sturdy, but the factory mount was pretty flimsy as it is, you can see. So, I mean, it stays there all right, no issues so far. That's pretty much it. it. Took about an hour, hour and a half. Got any questions, let me know.